right, we got a new uh, golf cart here today. Um, it's Friday. Uh, come out here after work. Work on this thing. The um, customer saying that it smokes real bad. So I got here worked on it a little bit a while back, and uh, it, it. I don't know. That's another pile, but it's smoking real bad, and. Uh, I'm not sure yeah see we can pull the case apart over on this side to, to pull the piston pull pull this off and pull this side cover off loosen the connecting rod pull the connecting rod and piston up out of the head hopefully that's what we're gonna we're hoping for anyways but this guy here, I don't know. I don't know what he's got going on here. But uh, so couldn't really get it to run right. I had a when I checked it, I had 150 psi in uh, compression, and I think compression can be up to about 180. So is it the ring stuck? Because he said this thing's set for a while. So I did did some work pulled this cover here it's four allen bolts pulled them out and uh checked the valves the intake was real tight it was it was actually backfiring through the carb which tells you the valve staying open because it was too tight uh and it feels like it sounds seems like it's starving for fuel so what i want to do is i want to change this change this fuel pump and i bought a brand new fuel pump so I've got one there that's, I ain't gonna say that one's brand new, but I also have uh, about brand new ones right here. So what I need is a screwdriver, a straight head screwdriver. I don't know if I got one. Well, I know I got one. I just don't know where I got it at. Oh, you know what? I took it in the house. I left it in my back pocket the other day. have to run in the house and grab my grab that I should have more I know I got more out here somewhere I just don't I'm not real proud of it all way which, which is this one. there's a little flathead I'll try this one send me have to go all the way in Stick you guys because uh, new stands and stuff kind of helped out the old little situation a little bit. I just want to pull, I don't want to actually permanently mount this one yet, but we will when we get there. So, if you look, the little arrow pointing in arrow pointing out and that's for your uh, pump whatever you want to call it pulse oh you know what that's a little a little bit different oh no, well oh well no it ain't just a little different hose there these down I just want it to run I want it to run for a little bit and just see if it'll free up them rings uh, I had to clean the carburetor too it was gas and it was all real bad stinky this the guy said uh, he changed the gas in the tank but he also said he stuck a new carburetor on here well if he stuck a new carburetor on there and changed the gas why is the gas in the carburetor stink like it does but not stink like that in the tank i don't know but let's uh let's see what happens here Ooh, i left the key on too yep we ran the battery dead let me get the old battery charger hooked up and uh we'll go from there Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah I know he's gonna say he's gonna do it. Uh, start on this tomorrow, but we're gonna go ahead and get on it today. So I'm. Um, I gotta get the battery over here on charge, anyways, and then. Uh, so there were some Phillips screws that hold this cover together. We're gonna pull that cover apart. We need to pull this off there, pull this line off, and we're gonna pull this head. It looks like there's been a lot of blow by around that spark plug too. So that's where we're at. I got a 10 millimeter right down here. I gotta get out. I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to watch me struggle with that one. So I wish I had my ratcheting wrench and I don't know where I put it. So I'm going to get that out. And when I get that out, we'll get pull this cover off and we'll check out the head together. Last head bolt. some uh, gasket with some I don't know that gasket stuff on there uh, well got all kinds of silicone on it uh, let me see if I can find my rubber hammer here Bad, I don't know. Yeah, I may have to pull that freaking exhaust. There's a bolt there. And a bolt over there, so let me pull that. He got it pulled off there, so survey says gasket stuck. There we go. Uh, metal head gasket. I don't see really nothing wrong with it. Yeah, you can see all the oil in it. That's all oil. So yeah, she definitely will flood that hair. Yeah. You guys can see her now. Yeah, look at that oil. Yeah. Yeah, you can see it just all over. All on the inside of that. Yep. So Yeah, we had a little bit of a dirt nest. So, I gotta make sure I got a pulley, puller to pull this off. Oh my God, heartburn. Yeah, if I'd had a bore scope, I'd have been able to see that a little better but of course I don't have one it's broke it got broke <sighs> man I'm praying that we can get this off inside this fucking compartment. I'm really, really hoping so. I really don't want to pull that motor.
I uh, can't remember what size that is. But, uh, yeah, we gotta. Let me get that bolt off there. I'm gonna make sure I got a puller for it and I'm gonna bring it back a second. Well, it's the only puller I can find. And uh, it's not the right one. It's a lot bigger. Uh, maybe I can find a bolt and get a piece of metal. Maybe something that will slide in there and do it that way. But I don't know. I guess I could cut that. Could cut that off. Cut it off right there. Stick it in there. If I could find a bolt that big, if I got one. So this is definitely where we're gonna leave it off for today. I'll be back out tomorrow. We'll get it, we'll get it off one way or another. We'll see you in the morning. All right. Good morning. We back out here on this uh, G29. Uh, last we was at, we had to get the uh, clutch off. I got the tool and I we got her pulled off here. I'm not sure where I put the clutch, but. She's off now, and uh, oh, it's right there. I had to get this piece off here. So, uh, we got her. So, we're gonna. There's the other piece right there. Okay. So, we're gonna go ahead and uh, try to pull this side cover off. Hopefully, we can get it off and we won't have to uh, pull this motor. The only thing we gotta worry about is being able to get to these bolts down here. And I don't feel like we're gonna be able to. So, as much as I don't wanna pull this motor, it's looking like we're gonna have to, but. So, let me do some investigating. We'll see what's up. I don't think there's really much more to pull to actually pull this motor anyways, the starter maybe this piece and then the other bolts and then we pull the whole motor up out of there it'd probably be a lot easier just to rebuild it with it off the out of there anyways so got a lot of stuff off shouldn't be that hard to get get out of there now so as much as i hate it hate the idea of having to pull it we're gonna pull it so let me get to it and then once i get her out i'll sit her over here on the table and we'll uh we'll get it uh tore down oh look at that got a rip toes right there too so that could be a that'll have to be fixed that looks like that's a made hose maybe we can we'll tear it off and fix it somehow All right, I was gonna pull the engine and it's just so hard to get to these bolts down here. I can't get to them unless you pull this bolt, this bolt and pull the whole plate out. This, these two, this two. I got all that wiring and stuff that I don't really want to deal with. So I was able to get the, I took them two bolts here and one over there out nut off and I was able to just lift it up with the pry bar, so. We was able to not have to pull the engine. Come on, get up under here now. I think I got all the nut our uh, bolts out. I took these two out, and it's just that bracket to hold the starter, and they just they just go all the way through the case. They don't even bolt into the back side of the case there. As you just go through the case cover. And I ain't sure how that comes out. It looks like it might be wrenched in but i'm gonna we'll tap that off there and my only concern is how much plays in this thing that's the only thing that scares me um it's gonna suck i mean it ends up having to beat some bearings or some shims or something in there i'm not sure what to do 
but uh, we'll figure it out when we get in there. So let me uh, let me see if we can't tap her loose here. No, can't reach it that way. We got to get us a new hose for that. Let me see if I can't find a find a punch here or something. pin over here it's holding us kind of holding us right there uh let me see if i can't find a little screwdriver something something that might give us a little prime power all right got me a little screwdriver here there's a little gasket there she ain't holding as much more. Come on. Come on, there. Keep coming. Let's push, make sure we push all the gears and stuff back in there so it don't come out falling out on us. So, so everything's like still in line here. Everything's free now, I think. Yeah. The only thing it's holding us is probably the seal here. And the bearing. Yeah, that fucking bearing's bad. Excuse the language, but man, it's bad. Come off there. I don't know what I'm gonna do about the bearing being 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 that way, but and that's what's holding us up is that bearing being able to slide. Man, that's a lot of play in that thing, boy. Come on up there. I'm getting tired of GoPro really bad. It's it. I'm so tired of it. Man, is that? Man, I don't know. Just look at that. Man, uh, man, I don't know. Don't want to open up that can of worms either, though. So, for now, I want to get the piston out. We'll, uh, it's at top dead center right now, but we'll, uh, see if we can't make sure we time it, time it right because, yeah, see, there's a dot there on that gear. So it lines up right here to there. I'm on top dead center, so I'm gonna pull the cam up out of there. So we know it lines up with that. Remember the 
They may even square cut. They may a helical cut or whatever they want to call it. The cam here looks pretty good. We need to put that somewhere where it won't fall. Didn't get anything up. This is obviously like a counter counter shaft, but it's I'm not sure where it's supposed to line up. It's got a dot. It's got a dot there, but it don't like show on the line it up maybe let's see it's like over here knots there I'll have to look and see what's up with that but man I, I mean it's gonna have that little bit of play and I, I understand that much but so we need to have this turned down so we can get the bolts down here on the bottom of this connecting rod I feel like it's got tabs of Maybe uh, these need to be shimmed a little bit, maybe on this to help help hold that a little bit better. I don't know, but I'm going to bust them uh, loose down there, and we'll see what's up. Hopefully, it's, hopefully they're 12, so i got a 12-millimeter wrench right here. like a folded over tab that's not actually like folded over really them two bolts real quick all right I was able to break them loose back on there This is your oil slinger. So we gotta knock that cap loose somehow from the thing. But we want to notice. Um, pay attention to what type, what way this has come out. It's got the arrow pointing to the intake valves. Uh, Hopefully that's that's original. I don't think anybody's ever been in here. I don't know, they may have. Let me find a way to tap that up out of that. Uh, see if we can't get that in there. Well oh, shoot. <laughs> that's kinda cool. Come on up other then. And the studs come up out of there, which is nice. Ooh, my tappets are trying to pull out. I don't want that happening. I'll just turn that and oh, that should stay. Let's push that rod rest of the way up out of there. 
Oh yeah, she's got some ring ridge to her. She's a little wore out in there. So. Come on up out of there. What's that? So. There she comes. And we'll just take this out. We'll sit it on that side. Hope you know where it goes. Let's take a pad of fishing together. Don't look like a lot of scoring. Does the cylinder look okay? You can see all the oil in that cylinder, just how oily it is. So, let's get over here somewhere where we can look at this thing. Oil things look good. Uh, the rings, I don't know. Let's see if we can get one off here. And then we'll go major the rings and see what's up. these rings the ring gap see how bad they were Gap's really not that bad. Hmm. Well, yeah, them gaps ain't that bad. Uh, The only other thing that could be doing it is this. And there it is. See the top one up here stuck. So, the top one up there stuck. The bottom one's probably stuck. Could have probably just drove. If, if we could have got it to run and all, we could have. Uh, Maybe no that that ring's actually broke. I think it's broke, but let's see. I'm trying to find the thing here. got all them like dimples on it I don't know if you guys can see them dimples it's that was making it stick so let's check out this bottom one yeah see the like a little dimple it's like dimpled huh can you, you guys can see it now the you can see where the blacks wore off in like V pattern type shapes and it's the same on this one yeah I can feel marks all over it huh so the oil rings were probably sticking oh you know what could be from this that's probably what that thing's from filling this and it uh, cut in there and made them stick. 
So, the bearing looks pretty good on there. Yeah, you can see a little ding right here on the bearing. Ding marks. See this. Check this out. go on one way but we'll have to check the bottom one too but it's that's a ding but you can see straight through the hole so it's getting it was getting oiled right the the ring don't look or the that don't look that bad yeah that looks like a really nice bearing I'm wondering if Well, we just need to make sure that we put the piston on this rod the same way it's going to come off because we're putting a new piston on it too. So I'm going to just try using this uh, ring to pull that pin up out of there. We got one side out. We can leave the, the ring in the other side. We ain't worried about it. <sighs> Come on out of there. So the Y arrow is going that way, and that's going that way. But we want the so we want the oil hole facing us, and the arrow facing that way. this thing out of here she's a little oily so she don't really want to come up out of there well I can't grab it enough to get it to come out of there we'll put it that way because let me get something to maybe tap her out of there Let's hold this where just go ahead and hold that. This all cleaned up with the stuff off of it. Ain't nothing like using your shirt to clean clean parts of, huh? Oh well. Come off there. Yeah, there we go. All right. Okay, so. We need that facing us up. Let me get some uh, paper towel real quick. Now I have some assembly lube somewhere. So I get to find the uh, assembly lube. We'll uh, Get everything kind of looped up here let me find it look at that i just i use this to pop that pin out this is from the uh pulling that clutch look how that thing's bent it's like warped that's how hard that thing was stuck on so i got some assembly lube here we'll just stick a little bit right there probably don't need too much um let me get the paper towel again don't really want to I don't want it on a uh, 
have my hands real dirty anyways. Get rid of that that clip. Oh, that ain't that cute. Uh -huh. So what we'll do is we'll put this in on one side. Try the other side in there first. There we go. Okay, there we go. assembly lube in here get a little bit go ahead and put it in this side before we put the clip in because we have to slide that through first all right since I've got assembly lube in here already I'm gonna just so I can try to get her get some lube in there She's a tight fit. Definitely a really tight fit. There we go. So we'll push it back through a little bit. Ooh, man. Maybe. Unless this will fit in there. But we need to make sure arrow pointing that way these numbers and oil slick pointing up to us okay boy she's tight let me get my little rubber hammer here crookedness of the thing to what didn't want to get her to work so she's in there past the uh, little ring there little spot for the ring so get the little ring in there Make sure that's clipped in there really well. Yep, she's in there. Check the other side. Make sure she's in there really well. Yeah, so she's good. So let's give her give her a little wipe down here again. Yeah. 
we're gonna uh, open this up check out the rings here I should major the ring gaps in the thing but it ain't like I got another set of rings anyways and as we can tell it, it was pretty much the oil rings that was causing the issue which these are kind of known for the problem so that's got R1 road on it this is R2 so that's top one sit middle one and then this is obviously an upgraded type deal because it sure ain't uh, like that other one it's not sharp so oil rings it's got neither on nothing on either side so we'll so we're gonna go ahead and st st stick this down here Go with the spander ring or whatever it's called. I think it's spander ring. I can't remember. It's been a while. She don't want to go in there. some reason she don't want to go in there oh you know what let's uh, take that back off and we'll make sure that that oil ring don't have a you know, some type of pin in there right side up wrong side down some reason she ain't uh, she ain't really wanting to go in there real well okay well looks like I'm gonna fight this for a little bit Got it on there. It was a little bit of a pain. So this is the R2. <clears throat> Things kind of rough right there, but <clears throat> we're gonna this be the two or not? That's one. So we want the two on the with the numbers up. That's the way I'm doing it, anyways. Then we got the R1 it's pointing up to. <clears throat> Stagger our rings. Not that it like really matters. Yeah, so we got that part done. All right, I got the bearings changed in the rod. I'm gonna take everything up out of here, the way it was taken off the cart. Taking out the motor anyways. That way, because I hit the cylinder with a light hone. Wasn't nothing fast, nothing, you know, wasn't nothing aggressive at all. I mean, you could barely see any cross hatching. There's a little bit of scratching. It's not bad. I can't catch it with my fingernail. 
So I want to clean. I gotta go get some uh, 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 cleaner in a can. Yeah, brake cleaner. That's what we what it is. We go get some brake cleaner. We gotta make sure we don't knock out the tappets here. So, but I want to spray the cylinder out real good because I got all that grit and we'll just let her come running out and we'll spray the whole inside out pretty good I just want to make her pretty clean I'm sure uh, with, with the customer he's not gonna want any bearings changed in the case and the plus I don't want to do it so we're just gonna do this rebuild just get it to stop smoking and uh, yeah I think I think if we shim you know I don't know well See, this don't look war. I mean, it's shiny right there, but that actually spins with the crank, so. All right, well, let me go get some brake cleaner and stuff, and I'll be back. Yep, on a little further investigation. I'm pretty sure that's a crack. So, I tried calling the customer. He ain't got back with me. That's definitely a crack. So, I don't think oil was coming out through that because uh, I don't think oil gets up in there. So, I don't know. I was cleaning the, the, the side gasket all off there and all that. And, uh, yeah, so uh, I guess I'm just going to go ahead and stick her back together the way it is and because uh, there really ain't much I can do about it. There's, there's nothing, there's nothing I can do, nothing. So, I'm going to slap her back together. I'll put a little assembly lube on there, uh, a little assembly lube on everything else in there too. I cleaned her out with some uh, brake clean real good. I got the side gasket all off there. And, uh, yeah, we're, uh, uh, yeah, we just kind of screwed there, I guess. Screwed the pooch on that one. I'll change that crank seal, too, here in a second. But, uh. Yeah, we're, uh, it kind of sucks. Let's see if we can't reach down there and put some on that crank. Yeah. So, yeah, that kind of sucks, but ain't much I can do about her. assembly loop on that uh, I need to get some regular oil here real quick let me get some oil that's some O'Reilly's 10w30 oil I'm just gonna put a little on the yoke piston here piston there or a little bit cylinder make sure our arrow is pointing the right direction and here comes the fun part trying to trying to get these in without a ring compressor I mean I have one but it's all way freaking hour away got my my old shop so we'll just we'll just fight this not a big deal so I'll just push it in and tap her a few times you know and make sure she's lined up with the with the crank here 
I could probably turn that crank down a little bit first and then uh, we'll get her started in there and then uh, we'll go from there. So I'm gonna go ahead and fight it a little bit and we'll get her put in there. All right, we got her put in there. I'm putting the studs back in the, in the same on the same side. Uh. Ah, of course, you freaking thing. Make sure to turn, see how they're. So they lock in there, is that way. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, that's gonna be a pain to get in there. So. Ow. Pinch my finger in there in the gears. All right, she's in there. So we'll spin it back around. Let's go back up uh, with the piston. There we go. Everything's put on. I remember the this because the one faced the back. assembly lube on my fingers. Uh, where is it? I'll put a little more assembly lube on here too. I'll put a bunch around that shaft too. Make sure the number one faces towards the back. face the back well because that's the way she come off there let's uh, go ahead and slide her back up in there Maybe it don't. It goes this way. You can tell by the cuts now. It lines up a little better. I think. What the hell's going on? The heck's going on here? Sure. Uh, see which side that thing up. Oh. Definitely was this way. That number one towards the back. Oh. Oh. All right. Oh. All right. Connecting rod calls for uh, twenty-nine foot pounds. I don't know what it says in the book anyways that's 
sounds like an awful lot to me, but... both sides you know a little bit at a time and uh I talked to the owner, he said, he said, just give it a whirl, see what happens. Because I did a compression test on this thing and it had a lot of compression. So I don't think it's escaping yet. Whew. setting in anyways but we're close to 29 so it clicked once the other side clicked so we're gonna call that a good i gotta put the cam in we gotta time it uh let me let me check on this counterbalance because this counterbalance did come out some actually you know what it nope it can't come out far enough anyways so all right let's find our little dot here turn because of the piston and all that stuff being new okay we gotta put make sure it tappets are all the way up let's see this cam where's the assembly lube right here i'm gonna put a little assembly lube on this stuff since these gears are cut weird we're gonna it's gonna take a sec it's gonna take a little bit to try to figure it to get it um lined up here nope let's see if we see we're off here let's turn one tooth no one more tooth dot to dot right there straight across so we're good because them gears are cut so when you slide it in it's going to it's going to want to turn a little bit so you need to be off it and make sure you put them in at the 
once it finally sits in there that it's in there matching up. Put a little lube on this piece. I need to make sure we put a little more on here. Right there. Put a little on the thing here. Which them ain't really gonna hurt nothing really anyway. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get the gasket ready. And what I'm gonna use is I'm gonna use grease instead of silicone. So if you ever wanna take this case apart again, you don't have to worry about uh, any of the stuff sticking. And, and the grease will still act like a seal. And plus these surfaces are pretty so straight that it's not gonna, it's not gonna hurt. It's gonna be like a, you know, kind of a surface finished, finish where uh, where they, when, once they squeeze together, they pretty much cause a seal anyways. I thought I had that part clean, but I seen a little speck. So, all right, we're gonna, we're gonna get this, I gotta get this front cover uh, cleaned up still. I gotta pop that down a little bit farther back down in there. Probably take, clean that up just a little bit. But yeah, my battery's about to go dead too, so let me get this, I gotta pop this back in a little farther, clean this edge up a little bit, grease up the uh, gasket, stick it back together. All right, we got the side cover on. Uh, put the gasket on side cover 17 foot pounds for that and I put the bolts in for the starter um, change that hose and I put that plate on back there and now all I gotta do is uh, I put the head gasket on which uh, I ain't sure what I did with all looks something like that but it had like a plastic uh, coating over it, over it it wasn't beat up like that either so, uh, I just had that, just had my thing, and what did I do with it? I just had it right there in my hand, and I just put the socket on it. Wow. Um, yeah, let me find this thing, and uh, all I'm going to do is go through and Tighten them down a little bit if I could find the thing. Where the heck did I? Just... Oh, there it is. It's right there. I had to change the battery in the GoPro again, and I set it down. I tell you what, this battery, this GoPro thing's got to go. The two longer ones go here. Two longer bolts go right there and right there. The real long one goes right dead here in the middle. And then you have three uh, other ones. One like right in the middle with the spark plug. One in the back on behind the rocker box here. So. All right. Well, I'm gonna go and I gotta we gotta check what the uh, torque specs is. Uh, head head bolt. That that'd be the head bolt. 14 and a half foot pounds and then 18 foot pounds so let's uh get this thing set up here <coughs> so it's at 17 so we know we need to go we need 14 first there's 15 right there and then go back one is 14, okay. Let's do the work the centers, the adder. That one's already there. And then 18. Let's 
17. That would be 18. Boy, I got heartburn so bad. don't seem a lot but whatever well I'm pretty sure this video is pretty long so we're gonna go ahead and call it a day on this but heartburn so bad that I can't finish today I was wanting to get it all done today but man it's, it's so bad it's got my mouth watering oh you ever get that so it's salivating so bad that oh feels like you're gonna throw up what i'm getting so we'll see you guys on the next one uh starting to get a little more uh momentum here uh picking up quite a few uh subscribers i think it's about 30 some in the last you know like 20 days so that's not bad um so if you're new here man uh go ahead and please hit that subscribe button it does say that uh most of my uh, watchers are non-subscribers, and my uh, subscribers are, aren't really uh, returners. They don't really watch too many of my videos after they've subscribed. So, But if you uh, feel froggy enough to hit that subscribe button, like I said, you ain't even got to watch them like everybody else. You know, they, That's what I've always said. Uh, I just need to get some subscribers up so I can maybe monetize a little bit, you know, with just with, with whatever, you know, with, just so I can... Um, help fund projects like this i'm not out to make a living off of it but i got a full-time job this is just a hobby of mine that i like doing um you know like this, this is for my kid because they won't um you ain't allowed to ride a golf cart on the road where i live unless you're 18 years old well to drive you can ride on them but you can't drive them unless you're 18 years old they don't say nothing about no riding lawnmower in the uh city ordinance at all so golf cart to a riding lawnmower it looks like a riding lawnmower so what can they do they can't do nothing so my kid will have something to drive on the road and it'll look like a riding lawnmower and uh it's a way around stuff the gray areas they call it so yeah if you can hit the subscribe button you know throw me a like you know throw a little comment this little smiley face you can even put a, put a thumbs down in the in the comments um all that just you know just helps me a little bit better to grow um we'll post this one and then uh i will finish this up and i'll post it because i post videos every tuesday 6 a.m so i'll post that one tuesday 6 a.m and then maybe the following thursday of that same week i'll post the rest of this video the, the completion of this if not it'll be the following tuesday we'll we'll see how it goes We'll see how long, if it's a real, real long video, trying to get it all back together and get it to run. And we got that crack in the, in the cylinder. So maybe a fail all, to go, all together. So we'll see you guys on the next one. I really uh, appreciate you guys watching. Thank you.